Jenny Chaparral, and this is Get Me Out of Here, the show where we visit the world's greatest, hardest, most difficult escape rooms and talk to the experts who conquer them. Let's see. Today we are in a lion's den with a man named Daniel. Tell me, Daniel, why do they call it a lion's den? My, my, lions everywhere, lions, my, my. You okay? I think I'm gonna faint. Or is that when they attack? They wait for you to faint, and then they eat you. These lions aren't going to be eating us. If you say so. What's the story here, Daniel? You see, I work for King Darius. That's impressive. Yes, he rules a very, very large kingdom. But I know who is really in control. God's in control. Could you speed up your story? That lion over there looks really hungry. Three times a day, I go to my window and pray. Some of my enemies trick King Darius into passing a law that states people can only pray to King Darius. So the next day, I go and pray, because I don't care what they say. But I got arrested, brought to the king, and thrown into this den of lions. My, my. Why didn't you just pray in secret? I'm not going to deny God. He loves me, and I know he's in control. At least King Darius was nice enough to throw you in with lions who can't open their mouths. Yeah. No, King Darius didn't do that. God did. God sent an angel who came and shut all the lions' mouths. That's the only reason we haven't been eaten. My, my. That's extraordinary. Extraordinary is that five minutes ago you would have been lying chow. Also, God's in control. Not me, and not you. And not, not even King Darius or any of my enemies. Only God is in control. There you have it, folks. An uneventful and yet extraordinary night here in the lion's den. I would interview a few of the lions, but they can't open their mouths right now. Also, I don't want to press my luck. Come back for tomorrow's show when Get Me Out of Here promises to show you the greatest escape in all of human history. You won't want to miss it.